Hey parents, there are tons of products out there that are geared towards babies and we assume that because they're for babies, they should be safe, right? Unfortunately, this isn't the case and sadly so. So in this video, I'm sharing with you common baby products that contain toxic chemicals and their safer, more pure alternatives. I'm Bridget Tyler, I'm a mama, childbirth educator and a birth doula and it's my passion to help parents feel empowered and informed about their parenthood journey. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Before I start on the list, none of this is meant to make you feel guilty. We all just do the best we can with the information that we have on hand. But the thing is, is that many parents don't know about this stuff. I know I didn't at one point. So my goal is to simply open up your eyes to the information so that you can make the decisions that are best for your family. So product number one is Dreft. This laundry detergent is advertised to parents to be a safe detergent for babies. Unfortunately, there are a lot Lots of ingredients in this detergent that are actually harmful for anybody, especially an infant. It contains fragrance, which is a common skin irritant, allergen, and can have negative respiratory effects. It contains endocrine disruptors, potential carcinogens, and ingredients that can damage DNA and organs. On the EWG website, which I've linked down below, and it's a huge database of products that are broken down by their ingredients and are rated by their toxicity. Dreft stage one newborn detergent is rated F for purity, which is pretty startling. So instead of buying this detergent that you're only using for your infant anyways, I recommend Drops, which you can use for the entire family. They have an A grade for purity and I use the unscented one and will just drop in lemon or lavender essential oils into the wash if I want a little extra scent. Drops are so much safer for the baby and for the whole family. Product number two, Johnson & Johnson Baby Lotion and Wash. I'm personally not a big fan of Johnson & Johnson any product, but to be more specific, let's just look at their head to toe lotion. Now, because these are skin products and not cleaning products, on EWG, they're ranked on a scale of one to 10 for safety, one being safe and 10 being unsafe. And their lotion is ranked at four, which isn't the worst, but it's still not great. Some of their ingredients have high concerns for skin, eye, and lung irritation, and moderate concerns for endocrine disruption and organ system toxicity. And just so we're all on the same page, the endocrine system is the network of glands and organs that use hormones to regulate growth and development, metabolism, energy levels, reproduction, mood, and more. And so when it's disrupted, basically everything in your body is thrown off. So a better alternative is Bebo, which you can find on Amazon, and I've linked it down below, but there are lots of options that you can look at yourself on EWG, which is linked below. A wash alternative that I really like is Alafia. They have bubble bath for your little ones, or if you're just looking for soap, I recommend the Everyday Shia Body Wash, which is unscented. Product number three is plastic baby bottles, and we have so much plastic around us that we don't really think twice about using it. Plastic baby bottles say BPA free, so we think they're safe. And BPA is a chemical that is linked to cancer and diabetes, so it's good that it doesn't have it. However, even if a plastic baby bottle is BPA free, it still contains polypropylene, which we know sheds millions of microscopic plastic particles that baby ingests if they're drinking from it. So the better alternative is glass bottles, and I recommend the Dr. Brown's anti colic glass bottles or mason bottles, which are both linked down below. Product number four is a plastic or synthetic fiber toys, such as plastic rattles or stuffed animals. In 2008, a study was conducted that found 33% of all the toys that were tested contained potentially harmful levels of lead, cadmium, which are heavy metals, phthalates, flame retardants, BPA, and polyvinyl chloride, or PVC. And long and frequent exposure to these substances can cause behavioral or intellectual issues. They are potentially cancer-causing and are hormone disruptors as well. It's really overwhelming and scary. And this doesn't mean that you should just go and throw out all your kids' toys and stuffed animals, but maybe you can just start buying cotton stuffed animals, not polyester, or foregoing the plastic toys. The Love Every Play kits have been a game changer for our family because we don't ever even buy toys anymore. All of Love Every's play kits are geared for where your child is at developmentally, and so much of it is wood. The plastic that they do have is as safe as it can be, and they're the best learning toys you'll find on the market, and I have them linked down below for you to get your own play kit. Product number five is diapers, 
wipes and diaper cream. Any diapers or wipes that are scented are made with fragrance, which is a harmful chemical product that commonly causes rashes and allergic reactions. Along with fragrance, many diapers contain harmful chemicals, most of which I can't pronounce, but there is an article linked in the description that does break it down for you. And what's probably scariest for me is that many top manufacturers won't share their ingredients because they claim it'll give away their trade secrets. So we don't even necessarily know, fully know what's in the product that our baby is in 24 seven on the most sensitive area of their body. Now we cloth diaper, and I have a video all about that linked right up here and how it can save you tons of money, plus you're limiting toxin exposure for your little one. But I do know that cloth diaper isn't for everyone, so brands I recommend are Bambo Diaper and Honest for disposable diapers. As for diaper creams, the only one I use and ever will is Lanolin. Common brands like Desitin is ranked at a five on EWG, and it has high concern for endocrine disruption, organ system toxicity, and bio accumulation, which is just the accumulation of a chemical within an organism. And last but not least, this one might be the most shocking to you, but baby clothes. I know the cute onesies and the footage jammies that are just too much to handle, but Carter's, Target, Walmart, sadly many, if not most of their baby clothes contain harmful dyes that can be cancer causing and use chemical flame retardants that can be hormone disruptors. Now I got a lot of our baby clothes as hand-me-downs and most of them aren't organic or naturally dyed, but we still do use them. But I have committed and I wanna get better at this at only buying 100% cotton or bamboo non-toxic baby clothes and I always try to get neutral stuff because we're not done having kids and if I'm going to be spending money I want my kids girl or boy to be able to wear it so some brands I love that are safer clothing options are little bum bums guna muna and colored organics all linked below I know hearing this can make you feel like everything around you is a death trap I've been there but this information is not intended to overwhelm but to help you make better decisions little by little over time my my home is not by any means a toxin-free home, but each time I buy something, I try to only invest in the things that are natural and safe for my whole family. We can't control everything, but we can control some things. So all we can expect of ourselves as parents is to make one good decision at a time for our family.